not the SmackDown and Raw war rooms. Look at Teddy Long. What y'all deciding on? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another sick and lit edition of Wrestle Shade, the natural selection. We're back in the building tonight for SmackDown. Shade, of course, reactions, commentary, shits and giggles. Okay, period. We're in the building tonight because it's the 2024 draft under the Triple H era, big bitch. Triple H came out right after Cody Rose segment. Okay, Triple H inviting Cody to hang out. Okay, bye. Paul Levesque, and I gotta say, the show has been pretty good tonight. I just wanna talk about uh, a couple of segments overall. We're right now in the middle of Naomi versus Tiffany Stratton match. Of course, you guys know Tiffany Stratton interfered with Naomi and Bailey's match last week. And so now Tiffany and Naomi are gonna go head to head to see who is going to actually get the shot at Bailey. I'm guessing for backlash, but anyway, Oh, look at this setup here. WWE got a nice little setup. Contract signing. Well, we have a segment within a segment within a segment tonight when we have Solo Sokoa pull up. Paul Heyman is waiting for Solo Sokoa in the back. Solo Sokoa is asking Paul Heyman some shit about the draft and if they got drafted. And Paul Heyman is just like, well, nobody really knows what we're giving. You know, Roman Reigns has pretty much excused himself from this whole thing right before the draft, okay? And then you got you, Solo, who is trying to take control, doing things how you want to do things, and you adding people to the bl bloodline. So it's like, as far as the draft pick, they don't know what they're going to get when they choose the bloodline. And so Solo is just like, okay, well, okay. And then Tamotonga comes out, comes around the side, and Solo is just like, okay, well, explain that again. Bitch, look at the back, bitch. You see something moving in the background, bitch, coming in the background, bitch. It's Kevin Owens getting his lick back from last week, bitch. He hit, bitch. When I tell you he hit the back of Solo Sokoa head, bitch, with the forearm or with the elbow, bitch, it was nasty, bitch. He got Solo Sokoa together, and he got Tamo Tonga together, too. They were rumbling and brawling in that back. And shouts out to Kevin Owens, too, for doing his big ones and getting his lit back, okay? Um, within that segment... Oh, Naya! Naya! Naya Jax just attacked Bailey, bitch. You know what? This is why the people were booing when... Okay, so is this gonna cause Naomi to get into it with Nia Jax? Oh, Naomi attack Nia! Oh! Oh my gosh. Nia Jax just pushed Naomi into the pole and to the side of the ring post. Bailey trying to get up, Bailey stumbling. Nia Jax just ran Bailey over. Wow, I cannot believe this right now. So once again, Naomi did not get to finish her match. They're prolonging this. Hopefully they really don't give it to Tiffany after this either, but Naomi and Tiffany are gonna have to have a rematch now, once again. Or has Tiffany found an ally through- Oh wait, is this no disqualification? Where's the referee? Oh, Tiffany is gonna do what she did last week and do this summer press moonsault off the top rope. It's like, girl, we know you can do the moonsault. You were a gymnast, okay? You, girl, was a cheerleader girl, okay? Like, we know you can do this. No, get off of me, get off! That's right, Naomi, fight back! With this damn moonsault. Anyway, Tiffany about to do the moonsault, but we were in a segment within a segment where Bianca Belair had an interview with Kayla Braxton and, you know, it was pretty much giving Bianca, you're the first pick of the draft. How are you feeling? Also, too, you and Jay Cargill with your newly formed tag team, you guys have a chance to go to, where are they going, France? Anyway, they have a chance to go to Backlash and actually get the belts from the Kabuki Warriors. And so, okay, well, this is a segment with B-Fab and uh, the Hurt Business in the back. B-Fab look good, bitch. 
Be fab look good. But anyway, uh, Bianca Belair and Jade have a chance to get the belts from the Kabuki Warriors at Backlash. And so the Kabuki Warriors come out talking their shit to Bianca. And, you know, Bianca like, you know, I ain't scared of y'all. I'm going to definitely, you know, do my thing and defend, you know. And so after you know it, Jade Cargill come out. And Bianca made a good point, like, she hopes that Jay Cargill gets drafted to SmackDown so that they could have this tag team thing actually continue and maybe possibly get the belts at Backlash. So I thought that was dope. But within that segment, you still had Kevin Owens and Tamatanga fighting and they fought through the ladies down the entrance ramp to the ring. And earlier... We got a uh, notification that Randy Orton was selected by SmackDown. Bitch! Okay, Kevin Owens was in the ring fighting Tama Tonga. Solo Sokoa came up behind Kevin Owens, hit Kevin Owens, and so it was given like, okay, they're about to jump Kevin. Oh, Teddy Long coming out the briefing room, coming out the war room. Okay. Holla, holla, dollar, dollar, player, player. He walking too, bitch. Okay, walk, Teddy. Anyway. So, Solo Sokoa attacks Kevin Owens, and bitch, I'm just thinking to myself, bitch, who in the hell is going to help Kevin? Randy Orton, bitch, he just got selected for SmackDown, and so for me, that went hand in hand, so Kevin Owens and Randy are going to kind of like continue this whole bloodline thing, and mind you, they, and Randy got beef with the bloodline anyway, so he already owed them one anyway. So... I thought that was dope. And then we move on into the match between Tippy Time and Naomi, which we just got into that. I mean, I'm sorry I really don't have any footage, but we just got into that live. And so these were my points of my 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 little recap and review for SmackDown. To be honest though, my favorite portions of the show was when they would do these little cutscenes to the war room. Girl, look at this. I cannot. Girl. Yes, my cool. Girl, 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 girl. Got the hair slicked back. Okay, Tori. Now, I don't know what happened to that head, to that hair. When they were briefing on Team SmackDown and Team Raw, or what the people were doing in the war rooms, bitch. <laughs> That was the hottest part of the show, bitch. They were really, like, strategizing and really planning on who they were going to get for these teams, bitch, for these shows, bitch. Like, that was going hard. But anyway, let me know your thoughts about the draft, okay? I thought we had some pretty good picks, okay, period. We also, too, had the contract signing at the very beginning of the show with Cody Rhodes and AJ Styles. And I beat LA Knight to earn the right to face Cody It was cute. Cody Rhodes, well, AJ Styles is just giving, you know, I respect you. And I might have done some underhanded, sneaky things, but I deserve my right to be here to challenge for the belt. I respect you, Cody. I really do. And Cody Rhodes is just giving pretty much, it's not about winning the belt. It's about how long you can keep it. AJ Styles is giving you, we've both been down this roads. We've both been down this roads before. Execution, I respect. The roads that you have traveled down to get here, the parallel paths that perhaps you and I had. Much respect, mutual respect. But that respect goes by the wayside at Backlash. And Cody's just like, okay, don't don't matter about that name. Don't matter about the last name because what I have to do here is something very different from what you have to do, okay? It's more of a dream match for you, but for me, it's a necessity. I need to win and keep this belt. So Cody Rose is not even on that type of like camaraderie level right now with AJ Styles. You've been here before. It seems like you're implying that I cannot carry, that I cannot carry the weight of that championship. Cody Rose is here to prove that he can keep the belt at Backlash. And so it was a pretty good opening segment. <laughs> You won that championship. I've been hearing you. You've been saying a lot about if you come for the king, you best not miss. When I shoot, I don't miss. I can't think of a better way to shoot my shot here on SmackDown than to shoot it against you. You folks don't want to see me in action tonight, do you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's right. 
I didn't forget my gear 100% you're on but as I was saying let me know your thoughts about the overall show and the draft picks okay uh, in the comment section below don't forget to like share subscribe hit that bell notification to be updated and notified on when I upload more content such as this period also too let me know what you thought about the NXT drafts oh yeah Braun Breaker had a match with Cedric Alexander tonight <laughs> We're going to pray for Sector Alexander, bitch, okay, and hope he get his redemption song, bitch, okay, period. The match was like three seconds. I couldn't even, I, I felt like Kofi Kingston and Brock Lesnar all over again. I could, it was just like, damn. But anyway, we're about to get into the last little bit of the show here. If there's anything that I need to add, I might come back and add it. But, yeah, it was a pretty good show tonight. The draft was cool. 2024 draft. SmackDown selects the first night pick. We'll be back in the building for Monday Night Raw next week. Now, see you guys in the next one. Wait, wait. Who I'd have been down bad in them trench set rap that stick? Who who gave you pills? Who gave that dust? Put